Hi, my friends. Are you in need of some encouragement? Well, hopefully this encourages you today. We're going to read from James 1, 5, and it says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of a sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let that man suppose that he will receive nothing from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all of his ways. Well, I know that this is something that I said is going to be encouraging. And so sometimes encouragement takes a little bit of conviction of noticing what is going on in our own hearts that maybe we are looking at things that is not of the God that we serve and know. And so when we know God and when we serve him, we serve him with the thought that he is a jealous God, which means that he has a passion and zeal for himself, that he wants our attentions to completely be on him. Jealousy also means single-mindedness, that he has a single-minded passion for us to know him, to draw close to him, that he doesn't want us to be distracted by the things in this world, right? He wants all the attention on him. Why? Because he is the one who is our source. He is the one whom we shall fear. The beginning of wisdom is to fear God. And so if we lack wisdom, we need to have this reverence towards him to know that we don't want to do anything apart from his will because he is the one who saves us. He is the one who gives us eternal life. He is the one who helps us through our trials. He's the one who loves us, who made us, and who has called us to complete his work for those who are called. And so as we go about our daily lives, we want to think, am I serving God in a single-mindedness where he has my full heart, my full devotion, that he has all of my strength, all of my heart, all of my mind, all of my soul, all of my being. And so as not to get distracted and think of materialism or to covet or to be selfish or to give into any sort of pride where we puff ourselves up and we now think that we can do whatever it is that is on our plate to do. But God calls us to serve him because he has a purpose for our lives. And until we draw close to him, we won't know what that purpose is. And he doesn't want us to miss it. So we want to make sure that we are not double-minded that we are not in our mind is not split in two different places of thinking that we can be of the world and still do the things that um, we can do in the world of when before we were saved but now he wants us to be completely set apart for him I hope this encourages you to continue on in your faith, grow a little bit deeper, know that we can constantly continue to grow and be strengthened in him because he's the one who is bringing us to completion. God bless my friends.